Welcome to the captivating universe of Terra Luna Classic. Imagine this. Whispers echo through the global crypto sphere, hinting at Terra Luna's potential surge to a staggering $100 per token. It's a crucial forecast that's turning heads in the crypto world. But what's the driving force behind this colossal anticipation? Hold on to your seats as this video unveils the astonishing factors propelling this upward trajectory. Prepare for an immersive journey into the depths of Terra Luna Classic. Don't miss a second of it. Disclaimer. Terra Classic, a token that faced a major crash back in May 2022, but has since shown signs of recovery, is currently at a crucial turning point. Back in May 2022, Terra Luna experienced a significant downturn. For example, the price of Terra, the native token of the Terra blockchain, dropped from around $119 to its current price during that period. This sudden drop was part of a larger market correction that affected many cryptocurrencies, including Terra. Now, the community is facing an important question. Can Terra Classic and its stablecoin, USTC, bounce back to their previous high-standing positions? This is where tax to gas enters the picture. Tax to gas is a mechanism that operates within the Terra ecosystem. It essentially uses transaction taxes to support the network's operations. By implementing tax to gas, the network can collect a small fee from transactions, which is then used to cover network costs and provide stability. This mechanism is intended to bring stability and sustainability to the Terra Classic ecosystem. It's seen as a crucial step in revitalizing and maintaining the strength of Terra Classic and USTC, potentially leading to a more resilient and promising future for these tokens within the broader crypto landscape. The crypto expert and YouTuber signifies a significant stance on a proposal within the Terra Luna Classic community. As a validator of Terra Luna Classic, this individual holds influence within the network and advocates for a particular proposal geared towards burning down the token supply. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the role of validators in the crypto world, especially within the Terra Luna ecosystem. Validators are essential participants responsible for verifying and validating transactions on a blockchain network. They ensure the accuracy and security of transactions, essentially acting as guardians of the network's integrity. Validators play a pivotal role in decentralized networks like Terra Luna, as their consensus determines the legitimacy of transactions and proposals within the ecosystem. In the context of Terra Luna Classic, validators hold a critical position. Their support and validation of proposals, such as the one mentioned in the tweet about increasing on-chain and off-chain taxes to reduce token supply, significantly impact the network's direction. The proposal outlined in the tweet advocates for implementing higher on-chain and off-chain taxes. On-chain taxes refer to fees collected directly from transactions occurring on the blockchain, while off-chain taxes might pertain to fees or taxes collected from activities that occur off the primary blockchain. The goal is to reduce the token supply by increasing these taxes, ultimately aiming to curb greed within the community. The mention of being greedy hints at concerns within the community regarding the overaccumulation or hoarding of tokens, which can potentially hinder the ecosystem's growth and stability. By implementing higher taxes, the proposal seeks to discourage excessive accumulation and encourage more active participation within the network. The call to vote yes emphasizes the urgency and importance of community involvement in decision-making processes. Each Terra Luna holder's vote plays a significant role in shaping the future of the network. Validators often encourage community members to engage actively in governance proposals as it directly impacts the ecosystem's trajectory. The community was highly motivated by the implementation of a transaction tax, but this action could significantly elevate the price of Terra. Let's delve deeper into the objectives of this project. It's crucial for us to gain a comprehensive understanding of what might unfold in the future with our beloved cryptocurrency. Firstly, the proposed solution aims to make the burning process of tokens much simpler within the crypto ecosystem. Right now, burning tokens often involves complex calculations and manual handling, making it quite cumbersome. Tax to Gas intends to change this by integrating a tax directly into gas fees, the charges you pay for using a blockchain network. Imagine it like this. 
Every time someone performs a transaction on the Terra Luna Classic network, a small tax is automatically added to the gas fee. This tax doesn't go to a government or an individual, but is directed towards burning a portion of the tokens, reducing their overall supply. This streamlined approach means that users don't need to worry about complicated calculations or handling the burning process themselves. It happens seamlessly in the background. This streamlined method has gained significant support from community members and validators. By making the burn process more straightforward and integrated into everyday transactions, tax to gas aims to create a more efficient and user-friendly experience. It's not just about reducing the token supply, it's also about making the ecosystem more attractive for people who want to build new projects or use the Terra Luna Classic platform for various purposes. Secondly, the situation is heating up in the Terra Luna Classic community, with discussions about a proposed 1.5% burn tax gaining substantial backing. However, there's a hitch. The concerns are sparked by Binance's decision to lower its burn contribution. Binance, a major exchange, had been contributing 50% towards burning tokens, but with the proposed increase in the burn rate, there's worry that Binance might reconsider its contribution. This potential change could affect the overall burn rate of tokens within the ecosystem. The burn rate is crucial as it directly impacts the reduction of token supply, influencing the scarcity and value of the cryptocurrency. If a significant contributor like Binance reduces its burn contribution due to the proposed hike in the burn tax, it might slow down the pace of burning tokens, affecting the ecosystem's dynamics. However, despite these concerns, the community remains resolute in its commitment to breathe new life into the Terra Luna Classic chain. Amidst this uncertainty, the community is actively exploring alternative approaches, such as tax to gas. This initiative aims to simplify the burn process by integrating the tax into transaction fees, potentially offering a more seamless and sustainable solution to achieve their goal of revitalizing the chain. Lastly, the discussion revolving around burn rates within the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem carries a nuanced perspective. Although a higher burn rate might appear attractive initially, it has its drawbacks. A steep burn rate could potentially deter projects and developers from actively engaging and creating on the chain. This occurs because higher burn rates mean higher transaction costs, which can make it more expensive for developers to operate within the ecosystem. The beauty of tax to gas lies in its potential to attract builders and creators while ensuring a healthy burn rate. It attempts to bridge the gap between encouraging activity within the ecosystem and maintaining a sustainable rate of burning tokens. The idea is to create an environment that not only incentivizes development, but also keeps the token burning process efficient and effective. In essence, this debate showcases the delicate balancing act required within crypto communities. It's not just about increasing or decreasing burn rates arbitrarily, it's about finding equilibrium a level where the ecosystem remains attractive to developers while ensuring the network's sustainability through a consistent and healthy token burn rate. Tax to Gas emerges as an innovative proposal aiming to achieve precisely this delicate equilibrium within the Terra Luna Classic community. The only question is, what are your thoughts on that? Are you bullish on Terra Luna? What are your predictions? Let me know in the comments section. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.